All right. Okay, wonderful. All right, and Faith, thank you so much for your, uh, for your feedback on that. I appreciate that so much, sweetheart. We're so glad to have you here also. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you everybody for joining us, those who are joining us live and those who are going to be joining us on the replay. We know that there are a number of you who aren't able to uh, be here uh, with us live. If you do end up popping in, then make sure you go back and hear the first part of everything mm -hmm. and, uh, and get all the good stuff, all the, all the yummy everything. So we're just going to jump right in. This is all about Renaissance Women, a trust retreat where women mavericks learn to receive. And Bridget and I are leading this retreat. This is our second year of the Renaissance Women retreat. And as you know, if you've been listening in on our um, our Radical Receiving series, the workshop series that we just finished this week, you know that we are targeting this time this year, we are targeting the deep nurturing and receiving of type A women mm -hmm. who are used to making the world happen five times a day, uh, how you actually get to come and experience receiving in a way that is transformational for everything moving forward in the next steps of your life. So Bridget, you want to go ahead and uh, move us along. You are in the right place if <laughs> this lights you up inside. <laughs> We're looking over Florence, the city of the Renaissance. And the dates for our retreat are May 19th through 26th, this, this upcoming May, and our VIP adventure is May 15th through 18th. And we'll be talking about our VIP adventure as well as we continue on through here. So here's what we're going to cover. We're going to go through the itinerary of the retreat. Don't mistake that for us telling you everything that's going to happen because we don't, and we'll talk about why. Uh, we're going to go over all the bennies, all mm -hmm. the yummy, mm, 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 all the great things, all the inclusions that you have with this retreat, the payment plans, the flights and packing, we'll talk about that, and of course, all of our bonuses. And we're going to dive into the VIP adventure, which is, it's like the crown jewel, you know, it's the crown jewel of uh, our adventure in Italy. So <laughs> um, those of you who are here, make sure that you stay on until the end for some special prizes. We want to be able to uh, thank you and indulge with you, indulge you and spoil you for being with us today. Uh, so, you know, if you're a type A woman, well, actually, I think we can pretty much assume that for everybody here and probably almost everybody who's going to be watching. But as a hustler, you could take it so much further, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I want you to stop and think about that because I'm thinking about that. And I actually had those thoughts today um, and this past week. I, and just questioning myself, you know, Carmel, why can't you like do this? Why can't you get past this? These are the little questions that go on in your head when you look at your schedule that's full and you know, your to-do list that's even fuller. Um, so what's stopping you? Our question, Bridget's and my question is, could it be our super competence? <laughs> We can't get out of our own damn way. <laughs> um, and our gut may be quietly telling us, my hard work is not a one-to-one -one ratio with my results, right? Mm -hmm. we, we do this to ourselves over and over and over. So I want you to think about that for a second. I want you to just drop down into your life and think about how you have been talking to yourself about what more is possible for you and how you should be on it and already getting there. I want you to consider, consider that. And did you want to talk about the story of you developing your business? Um, I do. Um, so the, the process for me of coming to where I've come to with this, um, I'm just going to, 
catch up here. Give me one second. There we go. So the thing that I found with travel and transformation, when I started to bring travel into my life and I started this whole new company, what ended up happening was that learning curve that we always have with our confidence or when we're going to take things to the next level, that learning curve, we always end up feeling like imposters, that we're a fraud in some way. And we're having to challenge ourselves out of that comfort zone with our peers all around us or the people that we would like to be our peers all around us and, um, and take some big risks and put ourselves out there. And there's always that feeling of, can I actually take it up? Can I up-level myself, take it up to the next level and be legitimate? What do I need to do in order to feel and to know that I am totally legit as I do that? And this is a very real thing that we work out inside of us as women, especially. Um, and that's a whole other conversation that I will probably be doing uh, more Facebook lives about somewhere in the future. But the thing that I did discover as I was starting into my travel was this secret weapon that travel is for our confidence as women. That's part of what uh, this retreat was crafted around very intentionally was to take women and build their confidence in real time on the inside, on the inside level, not the outside. The outside you can handle, you can handle beautifully, but what, what is the confidence building from the inside? Truly that's a space of being able to be very, very vulnerable mm -hmm. and to be able to be very vulnerable um, in a situation that is, outside our comfort zone. When we are very vulnerable in a situation that's outside our comfort zone, we gain superpowers in that place. So bringing women um, across, halfway across the world <laughs> to a foreign, uh, foreign situation and, and heading out and you having no idea where we're gonna go, what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and having to go into total trust as your mind is trying to wrap around what's going on, why is this happening, what are we doing? It's, oh my gosh, it's so fun, I can't stand it, but wait. <laughs> <laughs> and also it's challenging me on some very real and deep levels. This is not just, you know, just a, a trip at the playground. I'm not getting my feet under me in a way where, oh, I got the lay of the land, I know how to do this right off the bat. It's actually forcing me to be uh, completely alert and on a, on a different level and to learn how to be without, without all the labels. And that's really one of the most powerful gifts that we get from travel. So what ended up happening for me in developing the business that I have now, the company I have now, the inception of it itself came out of that first leap, five mm -hmm. weeks off the edge. And then my building of location independence of the life that I have now happened as a result of my pushing myself off the edge again. And I'm gonna tell you that even though I was so terrified the first time and then I really got my sea legs and I figured out that I could do this thing, a year, just over a year later when I came back around to do it a second time in a, you know, in a new way, but with all the knowledge that I gained, I was almost as terrified. And it was, it was a whole new set of unknowns for myself that I was going to take on. And I didn't have a plan, you guys. I traveled, I literally launched myself and I was gone for three months, figuring out every three to five days where I was going to go next and just making it happen and building my business along the way, running client sessions, groups and, and the like, all of that. So it was a really a trial by fire. So uh, Bridget, <laughs> What about you with travel and developing your business and accelerating your own personal growth? Well, it, it's interesting because I was listening to some Jim, Jim Rohn this week, you know, and he's like old, tried and true. Um, but every once in a while, I just really enjoy him. And one of the things he mentioned was that a lot of times um, when it comes to our families and when it comes to our businesses, we're all about self-sacrifice. Like, I got to sacrifice all these things. And he said, that's a misnomer. You know, when he talks about when you're in the airplane and the mask drop down and you put the mask on, they don't say put it on the babies first, even though that's our first instinct. 
he mentioned something that I was like, ah, oh, this is so true. That when you invest in personal development, that you are actually becoming wiser. You're becoming um, more, uh, have more superpowers, more of these abilities to take on the world. And I thought that's some of what happened to me for certain. I, it's like, on a scale of one to 10, I was able to take many facets of myself to an 11 because of travel. I loved what you were saying, you know, sea legs. And, and when you were first talking, I was thinking about like, you know, when you're on a balance ball and you're just having to get your bearings, right? Because it's different than we're used to. And you develop these core muscles in your belly and your legs and everything else. Well, that's what taking off into the unknown does. So for me, um, you know, taking off into the unknown, uh, it, it's brought greater friendships. It's brought the ability for me to go deeper into so many different subjects. It's allowed me to see cultures in a delicious and juicy way and to really honor those and bring that back into my business, bring it back into my relationships. I've brought global connections back into my business. And so I would say for me, it's been absolutely a transformation of my business and also my personal life. Beautiful. As you were saying that, it reminded me um, of the gift that travel and traveling on my own uh, has given me about handling my own fears, both the internal fears and the external fears. And this is something I think as women, we, we reach out, we push ourselves out there, and then we get comfortable with the next layers out. And then we push out again and we get comfortable with the next layers out. But the thing that I also recognize is that as we push out, we tend to get, as we get more successful, we tend to get really selective about where we push ourselves out. And so there are blind areas. There are areas that we actually don't go after because we don't have to. Why would I do that? And we become, in a sense, we become weakened in some of our own strengths that we actually already have because we don't either recognize that or we intentionally choose not to go there. And I, you know, I had somebody ask me not too long ago, why do you keep doing this? Like, this is so uncomfortable. You've told me this so many times, this going into this floating, this trust walk and, and taking off and doing that. Why do you do this? And, uh, you know, with my travel, right, heading off. And I love to see new places and meet people from all over the world and build my world family, hashtag world family. But I also have to say that I recognized that it keeps me more honest with myself about facing my fears and the risks that I take. And that gets calculated massively into every one of my relationships, personal or professional, and it moves very intentionally into my business decisions and the things that I'm creating and building in my business. Because as we expand ourselves, we, what we put our focus on also expands. Mm -hmm. There's no way around that. And we're going to be talking about that a little bit more. So travel and what we have created in this retreat and adventure, as delicious as it is, it also does take you in a really yummy way. It takes you into learning how to challenge your own fears and the blind spots that may have uh, evolved as you have moved forward in your life and gained some more success. So... Mm -hmm. Except that there's something that you're going to have to do in order to be able to do something this transformational, right? What do you mean, Bridget? Oh, just this, you know, oh. because we're so used to the hustle. We're so used to the hustle. She's like, what do you mean, Bridget? I'm checking my notes. Technology fail. <laughs> That was a. That was I was such, setting you up so well too. It was darling. a beautiful <laughs> setup. It was a beautiful setup. I like, totally just like massacred it. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, ladies, when when we are such mavericks, such type A's, you know, everyone on this call, it's like zoom, 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 right? You are all from day to day to day. The moment you get up in the morning till the moment you go to bed at night, you're just hustling. And you, you know what we're talking about, and we know about working smarter and not harder and yet we seem to be working really hard and so how do we retrain ourselves retrain our brain retrain our heart and our mind to be able to do this very important act of receiving 
that is the question. Mm -hmm. we, we really do make it harder on ourselves than it needs to be. Why don't we just let it be easy, right? Why aren't we letting it be simple? Uh, we could do that, mm -hmm. but that's not how we think. And I know uh, for me, when I work with my clients, oftentimes I see that, the simplicity of things, but for myself, that is, seriously, it's one of the hardest things for me to see. I require somebody else coming in and saying, Carmel, you're making it too hard. You need to let go and let it be simple. Let it be easy. We're, we're used to being down in the depths uh, of all of the, all of what we're already doing. But mm -hmm. here's the other part of it that really is challenging. The question for me is why don't we let go and finally choose to receive? This is what you and I really dove into in great depth and very particular detail in the, the radical receiving series that we just did, right? Mm -hmm. Because as women, we really do define and, and we learn to define ourselves based on what we do, how we show up. And it's so, it's so um, woven in, so intrinsic inside our experience of our lives that we don't know who and what we are outside of that. Not really. I mean, we can go get a massage, we can go take a weekend that's just for us, or we can go um, you know, get regular pedicures or, or whatever that is that we do to just you know, love on ourselves, take care of ourselves. But that is not the same thing as living a life of intentional receiving. It's not mm -hmm. the same thing. And this is the radical shift that we realized was brilliantly created in Italy. Mm -hmm. That is why we are doing this. That is why we're having this conversation. The radical shift into living a life of receiving, which is not selfish and actually creates more than the sum of the parts. It really does give back more than what is already there. And that's what we want to show today. So why don't we let go and finally choose to receive? To ask the question, well, it turns out that actually living a life of radical receiving of really openly doing that is more difficult because we can't do it. <laughs> we can only <laughs> receive it. I mean, think about it. like, that's the thing, right? We're two type A women that are creating this whole presentation series about receiving. <laughs> <laughs> and we've crafted a retreat that is all about receiving. And we confront, bam, 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 our own doing every step of the way. And we have done. And um, I will just, I'll give a little, um, pull the curtain back from last year and uh, what we did. So here we were working on the itinerary, just finalizing all the details in the days leading up to the VIP adventure, right? So Bridget and I are, were holed up in this charming, darling little uh, place in Bagnareggio, right? The little streets, Bridget was just like dying every I second. Was. <laughs> Oh, and, the sights, the sounds, the smells, the taste, and the, and, the, and the people calling out to each other in the morning as the birds were singing, you know, there's no sound of cars, they were just, Marco, bonjour, you know, and just all of this stuff is like, oh, Carmel, we like landed in magic land, it was, <laughs> oh, it was amazing. And it was true, we were actually staying it's like when you see the pictures of the little villages, that's where we were staying inside um, a building that was built, I don't even know how many centuries ago, and this charming little apartment that had been created in there that we were staying in. So we're all holed up in there working on the itinerary, last, you know, finalization of things. And as we're getting down there, we're just, oh, this, oh, and this. And then that feeling of, um, we need to we need to simplify at this point we need to simplify right <laughs> you remember that yes <laughs> but there was Very so clear. much there was so much that we wanted to do and we were looking and saying okay what needs to happen and how do we need to do this and how do we need to do that and the retreat had been beautifully crafted it was already crafted it was completely there but here we were with our trainings that we were going to give and all the specific uh, things we're going to walk through together and the fun games we're going to play and all of this. What we discovered as we went into the week is all of that fell apart. It completely <laughs> fell apart. Not our itinerary. The itinerary, the, the beautifully crafted retreat was completely intact. But our ideas and our plans for exactly how things were going to line up and where we were going to lead everybody all together as we went through completely fell apart. Mm -hmm. in the most perfect way. Oh, exquisite, 
exquisite way. What we observed from the first afternoon was that the women who had joined us were leading us to exactly what they wanted and needed. And we were ready and mm -hmm. we were there and we just did it. Yeah. And then the next day came and we had our ideas and we were really clear. Okay. We had our little, you know, the night before and that morning where all of our plan, everything. And then the day <laughs> and it all did the same thing, just completely mm -hmm. fell apart. And they led us again. And we showed up completely fully and with, uh, with everything we had. And it was perfect. And that's when we started to look around and say, uh, wait a minute. Like, okay, well, what do we have for tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> we looked at the next day and we looked at that and we thought, okay, well, we'll just, you know, we had our plan, <laughs> but we didn't hold on to it so tightly. And we got to the next day and that way it was really easy to just recognize when the next day happened and came, it all just, mm -hmm. we're like, okay, all right, no problem. <laughs> we just show up to exactly what's happening with the retreat that we planned. And that was when we saw the magic. This mm -hmm. was so brilliant. We saw the magic happen. The magic was that everything that we had planned in what we were going to lead and train on and where we were going to take um, all of the women that were there with us based on their, what their wants, their concerns, their investment, their intentions, we saw that everything was happening perfectly, not in the way we had thought, not in the ways we had planned, not um, <laughs> any of that. And yet we could see that every single thing that we had listed out to do was happening. Mm -hmm. It was happening without even trying. And not only was it happening without our, without our even trying, it was more magical and more transformational than it could possibly have been if we were leading it the way that we had thought. Mm -hmm. so we and what was so interesting too was, um, you know how sometimes when things are so divinely guided, ladies, when um, you're prepared before you're prepared. Like, you know, we were prepared with, with a level of what we thought was going to be absolutely perfect for these ladies. And we had been prepared for actually a much greater level of, of leadership, of working through things. And then it was as if everything unfolded before all of us to really make this happen. And what the, the lessons that the each woman needed, really needed, not just wanted and how cool this would be and everything else, but what they truly needed while they were there, they were able to receive and we were able to facilitate and hold that space for their absolute magnificence in the midst of that transformation. The highs, the lows, the connections, everything was absolutely extraordinary. And at that space, we just got to learn to trust and for us to receive that we would know what to do in the moment. And we did. And every day we'd be like, Oh, holy cow. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know? And of course there were other words that came out too, but we were just, we were, it was fascinating. And it's because you are so powerful and your leadership really leads you into where you get to be. And we are learning absolutely to trust that i'm so glad you brought that up carmel <laughs> um, the way that you uh brought that full circle was absolutely perfect bridget because we really we were astounded do you remember when we were sitting in the front of the van on one of the excursions it was like i think the third or second to last day that we were there and we were hearing the things that were happening the, the problems that were being brought up and the different situations that were being discussed in the back and we listened and heard each one of the ladies that were there each one of our women um, brought her own strengths in a way we had never heard before without creating any like powerful women when they come together can do this right and we watched them engage these moments incredibly powerfully and beautifully and actually hold their own space and their own voice and hold respect between and find new possibilities new wins mm -hmm. up here for everybody involved as we just sat there and we we're like mm -hmm. <laughs> we we're like 
nudging each other as we saw all these connections deepen you know their connections to themselves their connections to each other their connections to spirit their connections to the land it it was it was extraordinary their trust of themselves yes it was amazing so it turns out that our receiving is something we can't just do <sighs> also turns out once you choose in learning to receive is actually exquisite Mm. This, I love this memory. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, can you imagine yourselves right here in this beautiful field? I mean, can you imagine like and and the photographs later, most of us were like ah, like just receiving the beauty and the glory of it. I see Faith has a big smile on her face. That's how <laughs> we felt too. <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. Um, and it was really unexpected. We had the plan for the, the itinerary was all there. And we kept driving past these fields of red poppies, which of course are so famous about Italy. And they mm -hmm. only come out in the spring for a short time. And it turned out that our retreat was happening right when the poppies were in full bloom, just barely full bloom. It could not have been more perfect. And so, we actually made our driver pull over <laughs> one morning and everybody piled out on the side of the road and we ran down into the fields of poppies and we just were exquisite and exuberant. And our photographer was there and she was just capturing all of these moments as we, we stopped looking at it and we went right into it. We went mm -hmm. all the way straight on in to Italy, right in those moments. Well said. We stopped looking at it and went right into it. That's part of that transformation. You know, how often in life are we looking on the outside of everything, including our business, including our relationships, and we're like analyzing everything instead of being right immersed in the moment of it. That for me was one of the great gifts and magic of Italy. Yes, for us both. So how would you love to receive this May? How? How would you love to receive? Look at that. See, there's those Charlie's Angels. <laughs> there's the Charlie's Angels. There are, there are women with tiny bag tags heading into tiny villages where there are no cars at no. all. No. We got off the train at the train station and headed up the hill, finding our way. We didn't even know where we were going. Had a little map. <laughs> and it literally looks like this it's so amazing so fantastic the sun was just setting behind us over the mediterranean yeah just beautiful <laughs> so we want you to ask yourself why would italy this may be the pivot point of an entirely new way of doing my life mm -hmm. Why would I challenge myself to step off the edge and take this leap right now? And what have I desperately been wanting and waiting to happen in my life? Hmm. Oh, that just gets my gut. <laughs> yeah. And you know, we were talking about, you know, that softness that happens inside too when you're completely held when you allow yourself to receive you know that uh that that beautiful place of actually like letting everything down and allowing yourself to be totally immersed in it that um you know the places you don't allow yourself to go into the places that um in the busy hustle of life we don't settle down enough to allow this deepening, some of the like jumping right into life that we're talking about. We're busy doing, but this beingness that we've talked about, that's so exquisite. That's what we're asking you ladies. What are you waiting for? Like really and truly, what are you waiting for? And I will tell you that I probably know. Um, for me, uh, I always, always wanted to travel. I thought that travel was 
um, it, it was a dream of mine and it was something that I made sure my kids got like my daughter, uh, my oldest, she got to go to school in Ireland and I made sure that happened as a single mom. It was like, oh, she gets to have this worldly experience, right? And then my second daughter comes along and she got to, got to do this trip with up with people and travel throughout Europe and down into Mexico and meeting families and doing amazing things. And then my daughters got to meet together in Europe and have a couple of days of adventure. And I was like, oh, this is so wonderful. But do you see the missing quotient was that I was not giving it or I was not allowing myself to receive that. I, I just wasn't. And uh, for me, it was like, oh, you know, I've been single and there were all of these monetary things. And um, uh, I worked very, 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 very hard to the point where I got very, very, very sick. And I had gained weight and done, um, you know, when you're a leader, sometimes as a woman, you go, well, who am I to be a leader? I'm 50 pounds overweight. Who's going to listen to me? Who's going to even pay attention to me? And so my ego mind was playing all those games. I wasn't worth it. I wasn't worthy. I didn't deserve it. Who was I to think that I could be that kind of leader? And then um, I was sharing the other morning on Facebook about this huge breakthrough that I had. I was getting some healing done and I was laying on the table and just enjoying that receiving moments, which I rarely allowed myself. And it was this true gift. And some of you know, Jamie Brandenburg, and she was the one that was gifting me this, this Reiki treatment. And all of a sudden I saw this big cloud of mist and fog and then bursting through was this huge elephant. And on top of the elephant, riding on the elephant, arms straight up in the air was actually me. And I was like, whoa. And it was like the busting through of the wall. And I'd had an opportunity, been invited to go to India, and I almost didn't let myself. I almost sabotaged because of all those voices in my head. And I had self-sacrificed for my kids and everything else. But I got to tell you, that moment was so liberating that I chose to go to India and then I chose to go to Italy and I ended up going to Italy three times in a year and this will be my fourth visit and I chose to go to Kenya and I chose to involve my son and for us to do it this time together and I tell you what we will never forget what we created but I had to take that I had to take that risk I had to jump in. I had to say that I was worth it. I had to stop the self-sacrifice. And I had to say that really and truly, there was something sacred within me that was worth it. And when I did, oh my gosh, the things that have developed since then, it's like that rapidly expanding part of you that is able to see opportunities and work with people and collaborate and enjoy people for their gifts and strengths and see where they could strengthen you and see where you can offer something to them. It's like exponential. It's absolutely beautiful. And, you know, Carmel and I have been able to receive these gifts and, you know, um, Julia that's on the line has probably seen me at my worst. So she will be the first to tell you that I am not perfect. Carmel has seen me even lower at a couple of times, but I will also tell you this, those superhuman muscles, the superwoman powers, you know, the, the things inside that we begin to discover about ourselves, our lows, we may still have lows, but we know we got what it takes to get back up. There is a resiliency, a tenacity that I never even realized before. And for me, what was so amazing was this joyful sense of adventure. Joyful sense of adventure to the point where I, when I got back from Kenya, I had to call Carmel and say, you would not believe what we did because we, our plane stopped in Zurich. And I looked over at my son and I said, we have a four hour layover. And in the past, it would have been, you only have a four hour layover. That's what the voices in my head would have been. Stay there and be bored until you have to leave the, in the station. Well, I said to my son, there is a train that goes right downtown. 
and it comes right straight back and we could go have breakfast and we can walk around on the cobblestone streets and we can see the beautiful clock towers and we can go into the Swiss stores and we can do all of these things. Would you like to do that? And he's like, can we? And I'm like, yes. And we did all of that. And my son got to have a taste of Europe, even just for four hours, got to have a taste of Europe as well as Africa. And again, it totally, it totally changed him. It was beautiful beautiful. Mm. So I just have to tell you, you know, to be able to go to a new place and go, I've been here, I've done that, I've experienced this, you know, I can't look at this picture without grinning, because it was like, um, you know, traveling with Carmela is like opening a new gift every day. It's like Christmas, and it's like this 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 wonderful thing that's about to happen, you know, and she gets all excited because she's going to share it with you. It, it, it just is absolutely lovely. And this is definitely one of my favorite places on the planet now because of Carmel. So Carmel, would you, would you share your story? <laughs> yes, although I'm just so delighted to hear yours. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I do love, and Bridget is the perfect person to quietly set things up and then just let her emerge into the experience. And then I just got to step back and just enjoy, just absorb all of her awe and her delight and her laughter and her incredible <laughs> happiness at what she was experiencing. And I didn't need to like be in charge of it or I didn't need to, you know, like, okay, look here and okay, do this. Like literally I just got to set something up and then just step back and then she just got to have it all. And I got, it's like watching as a parent, watching a child open Christmas presents for the, the presents that they most wanted and you know it. And you just got to watch that happen. I got to watch that happen over and over again. And then we got to do that with all the women who came. This is exactly how we put it together. Not to try and very carefully create their experiences, but to just take them and let them have their own and then just experience every single woman in her own incredible moments. So I'm going to tell you, this is a big part of why. This is actually core for me, for travel and transformation. I require this in my life. I absolutely require travel and transformation because what I figured out, what happened when I started to travel was that I got out of my own labels in my head and my labels were the things that were holding me back. Mm -hmm. And when I was out in a whole new experience of not knowing all of the not knowing I would have been experiencing back at home, trying to get a new business off the ground and figure out what I was going to do. All of that actually had to take a second and third seat to my figuring out where I was going to sleep tomorrow night and, and how I was going to get through the grocery store with it without speaking the language. And how did they say yes? And how did they say no? And how did they ask where the bathroom was? And it's amazing. The reason I tell you this is because it showed me how much I get in my own way. It showed me that there's so much that occurs, that happens, that comes to, to, to be when I have set my intention without my even trying. And this is the core of receiving. So the big things that you've desperately wanted and have been waiting to have happen in your life, this is why I travel on one level only, just this, if it was just this, it's an, an amazing that you could take off and travel and let that just be here. And then if you really just let it go and you really take the trust walk, you really allow the changes to just happen inside of you and to move into that space of incredible joy and happiness like children, because that's what it's like. Yeah. Come back to that thing. And it has completely moved itself down the road for you. It has literally moved itself down the road for you. And I realized, Carmel, you can either deal with this really, you know, challenging business situation or not knowing how you're going to create this next level in your business. You can just stay right here and like, you know, give it your best and go after it. Or you can go travel and work on it during the day and then go do other things at the same time. Guess which one worked really like the very best for me? 
(laughs) (laughs) I think we know. (laughs) Over and over and over again. And I built my confidence because I was not staying inside the labels. And it's been really interesting that I have conversations with people and they have an experience of me that is very powerful, right? Because I am moving in the world. Now I'm still inside myself and I'm thinking, oh, I know all my insecurities. I know all my self-doubt. I know all this, I know all that. But what I didn't realize was happening was this badass inside was like taking on my biggest fears and my biggest unknowns and my biggest challenges while I was traveling. And the woman that kept returning back to the United States again and again was not this woman who had left. It was somebody deeper, somebody Mm -hmm. greater, somebody 10 feet tall. And I just was. I just was. I know that sounds incredible and miraculous, and it's absolutely true. Absolutely Mm -hmm. true. When I talk to women who travel, we all share this same experience. I would agree. This moment right here with Lauren, what had happened is one of our ladies, um, her knees weren't going to um, support her to take the hike from Cornelia over to Vernazza along the, the little trails um, with the Mediterranean spread out on one side and just the, the, the forest on the mountain and the vineyards and the orchards and the olive groves and all of that that we were traveling through and the little tiny few houses built in the side of the mountain here and there. We came out down into Vernazza coming down through the little tiny streets, no cars, remember, no cars, no cars, no cars, coming down through little tiny streets. And as we came out, we came out on a street that was like really right behind my back and sitting right there. You're so cute. You're pointing. (laughs) (laughs) Sitting right there in in where we are right now that you see in the picture, sitting right there at this little pizzeria was this woman, Kelly. She's sitting right there having a glass of wine, talking to all of these people all around her. And she had headed off on the train to get there and have her own explorations. And we just came together, just like that. There was no looking for her. We literally walked out onto the main street and bam, she was right in front. She had no idea where she was sitting. So this moment when I'm sitting with Lauren was this incredible place where this super strong super smart woman who has done it. She has done her work. She has just, she knows what she knows. She's been journaling for 40 years, 30 years since she was a little kid. She's been journaling and she's sitting there and she just broke wide open. She broke wide open. She was in complete awe and wonder of everything she thought she knew just and she realized something quite profound in herself in this moment. And as she shared it with us, we were completely together one-on-one in the midst of everything going on. And I will never forget the tears, the joy, her laughter, her laughing at herself. It was absolutely exquisite. This happened frequently. We want to share the adventures with you. So Bridget, (laughs) now that we've had the retreat last year, Bridget's like, oh, hell yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, yes. I mean, I look at these names, which last year before we left, they were, you know, they were exciting, but they were strange. They were a little, you know, difficult for me off the tongue. I took Spanish, but not Italian, but I love the language. But now when I look at these names, I'm like, oh. Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> because of the of the memories and the pieces and the, uh, the the joyful experiences with these women that I will literally never forget. Never. And so to have like Chivita, I mean, I just love, you know, Chivita and Petiliano, and we have this surprise water adventure for you. Um, this amazing five-star cooking class. And I have to tell you that to be taught by an Italian woman, an incredible course in making pasta and in making these incredible, um, and I keep using the word incredible, but it really is, just um, delicious food, homemade, 
and uh, to, to enjoy the depth of it, like the whole process of the cooking and the joy in the kitchen and the spices and, and all of those things, but also the camaraderie and the, um, the being together. And it, it just brought kind of this old fashioned sense of what you know, sisters used to do in the kitchen together, you know, and, um, and just the joy of preparing something for each other. And hey, do you like this taste? And I've never had that before. And is this really how pasta is made? You know, because we're so used to the machine made stuff. And, you know, um, the places where you get to go, the places that you safely get to explore and to feel your feet take you there and your soul explore and to talk to people and and to have these things you know together as a group but there we also have created little spaces of of very safe but very adventurous and fun and delicious alone time so if you can imagine you know oh and the winery oh the winery, which we'll show you in a minute. We're going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to show you. And Orvieto. So three full days. Imagine three full days of adventure. And then also three half days. And this is just a retreat. We're not even talking about the VIP, but just a retreat. And the reason on, on some of this we have half days is because we have something to show you, which is our sweet little farmhouse, the Villa Cavoni. And I just want you to see this like ancient building just made of stone that that was um, designed to last for centuries and it really has. It's been renovated and it, it still has this like quaint flavor of the country, you know, you open up your shutters and wide open to the starry sky and the birds in the morning and the sunlight coming in and the soft, beautiful light of Italy there. Uh, it, it's just like we loved going out and we loved coming back to this beautiful place, didn't we? Yes, it was not a hotel. You want to go back one second, Bridget? Oh, it was sure. not a hotel experience at all. That mm -hmm. upstairs window was the window in the room that I was in. And I just left it open 24-7. So at night, I had the stars outside. And in the morning, I had the sunlight, the breezes, and the birds. Mm -hmm. And this was literally the every single room everybody got to have this experience it's so it's just extraordinary and we wanted that if you've ever seen the movie enchanted april from years and years and years ago this was an enchanted april experience where we would have these amazing adventures then we would come back to this deep deep stillness and this wonderful sunlight and relaxation and being able to just sit out in the sunlight in the midst of the most beautiful countryside with nobody else around mm -hmm. and have that quiet inside so thank you for there's caves and there's eating outside al fresco i mean we did that every night that we were there because the weather was just so gorgeous and so imagine the stars are coming out and you've got candles lit and little lights on and if you're a drinker the wine is flowing you know for me it was the water but it didn't matter i was as tipsy as the rest on <laughs> the amazingness of this adventure so not too little can be said about this it's just not or i should say not too much because it's just it's an exquisite place really truly magical and then there's Chivita, which you saw behind Bridget earlier. Chivita and Banya Reggio. This is, it's called the- The Jewel the, on the Hill. The Jewel on the Hill, that's right. It's also the city that is dying, the town that is dying, because um, in the 1600s, the place where you see the bridge, the town actually extended from where the picture is being taken, extended all the way straight across to what you see now. And in the 1600s, a great earthquake leveled that whole center space into the valley floor. And the, the jewel on the hill was left uninhabited and vacant for centuries. And then this bridge was built out to it about 80 years ago. And as a result, you can now walk out into Chivita. You can see it, there are shops, there are a few little places that you can stay if you want. There are amazing the local people who live there. They live there, they have their little businesses there. And uh, it is so 
it's just so incredible. So Chivita is part of our itinerary. You feel like you've walked onto a Disney set because it's just that, that charming and magical. Well, the next pictures will show that. <laughs> Oops, I went too far. There we go. Look at this place, the lady. Chivita, if you can see that up close and personal. And there's Bridget and I in Chivita just a day or two before the retreat, having lunch and tea and coffee as we work on the retreat. That's a picture of us right there in process. The real deal. <laughs> yep. And right before gelato, because we never let a day pass without gelato. And ladies, I lost weight in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I ate pasta. I had gelato every day and I lost weight. I'm telling you, it's, telling it's you. part of that rich experience. It is. It's incredible. <laughs> Patiliano and the surprise water adventure. So Patiliano was quite an extraordinary experience for us because it has intact old aqueducts from the Roman era. And that is really where you enter the old town, is these aqueducts. They are extraordinary. And you can see them from far away across the valley. And like all so many of these Italian towns, they were they were built out onto the out onto spaces where there were cliffs so that they were fortified against attackers because they blasted for centuries, centuries, centuries. This is the the church that we got the most amazing tour of and stories told. And these are little streets, of course, and there's the La Cantina del Preta and more of Petiliano. There's Petiliano looking across. We have a really gorgeous picture later on that we'll show you. Um, and of course, the last slide, um, another little space, little doorway in Petiliano. These are all pictures that we captured, right? These are just, the places that we were and here are all the ladies and you can see that I just held my my phone up and started snapping pictures of everybody following and having their own little adventure down the streets. <laughs> and here is just a sneak peek into our surprise water adventure. Um, I just have to say words cannot describe how incredible this is. It's all natural. And we were not going to go into a lot of detail because it's something that you absolutely get to experience for yourself, but it is magnificent. It's not well known. Nope. It's known by Italians, but it's not well known outside of the Italians. And that's why it's just so sweetly wonderful for us to be able to take you there. Mm -hmm. The five star cooking class um, is also got some surprises in store. Some of the most wonderful things. We have a combination of the cooking class, but then we also have our own chef who's cooking for us the entire week. Luca! And, yeah. <laughs> And Luca was so phenomenal. Um, every morning he created something different, some beautiful thing out of the oven, along with the eggs and the fresh fruit and all of the other just delicious things that we had. It was every morning, the women after the second morning were just like, bam, right there in the kitchen, making their coffee, their tea. And like, okay, waiting. When is, what's coming out of the oven? Where is he? Where is he? When is he coming? <laughs> so the cooking class is actually going to take us into, and we're changing it up this year. So we've got some new things coming for the cooking class this year. And we're pretty excited about that. We're going to be focused a lot on the use of vegetables in Italian cooking, not so much the pastas this time. Uh, we want you to be able to have even more that you can take back and make for yourselves in the in the the cuisine that you would have that's what we want plus mm. dessert <laughs> <laughs> plus dessert and then we have bomarzo parco de mostri bomarzo is new to our retreat this year it is the park of the monsters you cannot believe what this is all about it was an act of love that was cr created um, by a man for his great love, his wife, um, as a tribute to her. And it was so fantastical. We, you can't imagine the scope of what has been created and how old it is and how absolutely elegantly gorgeous, unusual, crazy, mm -hmm. fantastical this whole park is. We've hardly shown you even this much right here. <laughs> Pienza and Montepulciano, very, very famous Montepulciano. They are two of the most famous 
most beautiful valleys in the world, the Val d'Orquia and uh, the Val, Val de Chianti, mm -hmm. two valleys. Uh, so what- Breathtaking. Yes, breathtaking. And the way that we go to Pienza is actually on this little tiny road. <laughs> And you literally, are, you're just going through, it's a single lane road um, and through tiny little villages, tiny, tiny, through these hills and you get to see other villages on rooftops as we go through these little hills. And then we finally come out and spread out, the Val d'Orquia spread out in front of us and all of those cypress lined roads, like you can see in this picture, all there leading us up to Pienza, which was where the Pope lived for quite a while. So you can see, this is, this is in um, the, down in the bottom corner, you can see the church there, which was where the Pope lived, right across from the church. And here were our ladies down here, so you can see under the tower, <laughs> our ladies right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pienza is so exquisite, yeah. and Montepulciano as well. So the, the, winery initiation. Um, we, Simone is the name of the woman that we will be learning from and having the initiation from, and this is her winery. She, um, <laughs> she is a fierce woman. I wanted to say this earlier. Italian women are not petite flowers, right? It doesn't matter what their size is, but they are formidable. They are feisty. They are fire <laughs> they are true fire do not mess and, and so fun it's so fun oh my gosh they will just pull you in but they are a tour de force and we want more of that <laughs> so here is this here's simone as she's holding up her signature wine at the head of the table where where we are all sitting as she's teaching us and she's telling us the stories about how she came to be this woman-owned winery when her the winery was uh, just producing grapes and vegetables for table wine and local markets before and she's created an award-winning wine and she has uh, done this all herself and she, we can't wait for you to meet her because her lessons in business and holding your ground and who calls the shots you know and um and, and, and just, um, she's just a wonder to be around because there's so much wisdom there and yet so much grace and graciousness at the same time. But I'll tell you what, you don't mess with her. Like, <laughs> you know, she, she pulled out a wine, she smelled it, she gave it to her assistant, you know, pulls out another bottle of the same and then she's like, all right. And then she poured that one. <laughs> so, and then she looked at me and she goes, you don't drink. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't drink. And she's like suspicious of me. <laughs> she was suspicious of you, but you won her over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so here are more of our ladies walking into uh, one part of the winery. And um, <laughs> this was before we had the wine tasting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have seen him after. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun. And then Orvieto. Orvieto is an incredible, incredible village. It, mm -hmm. um, the church is well known all over Italy, and it was a very key seat. It, um, Orvieto can trace its roots back to the Etruscans in Etruscan times. And the Romans laid siege to this city of Orvieto for two years before they were finally able to topple it. Um, and you can still see Etruscan ruins all around throughout, throughout the town and down below around the base. Um, there's so much history here. I mean, I'm only telling you this much, but wandering through Orvieto is, uh, is a dream. It's just a dream. And then you come upon this church and I can't even express how exquisite this, this church is and all the little side alleyways and Mm -hmm. And you know, so, if I can just say, ladies, um, the one thing I was really impressed with, because, you know, um, Carmel having been here before, but wanting our women to have an experience that was off the beaten path, not part of, let's go with hordes of tourists, where there's millions of people, you know, in Rome, 
there's so many tourists and there's a lot of history, a lot of beautiful things to see. I love Rome, but nothing prepared me for um, really being able, it's, it's like Italy 50 or 60 years ago that you would have imagined, you know? So we get to do some of the modern things, but I will tell you what, some of this that will not always be here, you know, the vanishing city and, and just these pieces and the history and the culture and to be able to talk with everyday Italians who, you know, talk to you and ask you questions and, and it's not like, oh, it's another tourist. They're like, they genuinely take interest in you and enjoy having you there and you really enjoy being there. It's not like, oh, we're on the tour clock. You know, it's, it's an, it, it, the whole thing is so immersive. It's just, um, I keep using beautiful and extraordinary and remarkable because it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so why travel and transformation? This picture is reverse sides. So what you're seeing that has just popped in is one day on our VIP adventure, the second day, we had gotten to Vernazza. We'd had lunch at that little pizzeria that you saw pictures of before. And then we went and had artisan gelato, like nothing you have ever tried. Flavors that you would never have imagined. And then we took our gelatos and we sat out on the rocks in the Mediterranean, enjoying our gelatos. And everybody just got quiet, except for Kelly, who just kept teasing and telling <laughs> stories. And like, cause she was, she was like that. And then I took this picture both from the back and then from the front. And I think that that's so powerful to be able to have the experiences and be able to see yourself in ways that you never have before. This was mm -hmm. perfect. So why that's travel? Artist in you, Carmel, I love that. <laughs> so why travel and transformation well this is the question that we have for you what could you create heal what could you transform or complete this year if you went on an adventure in italy this may and that's where you're going to show your i'm going to share uh -huh. one of our retreat goers right here so if you want to stop, share, Bridget, and I will take it from here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Free whole thing, and I'm like wondering, okay, can I trust? And then, you know, running through the Duomo Piazza, and it's like, okay, little by little, I'm like trusting it because it's fun. <laughs> and, and so I'm realizing what trust looks like for me. Because I can say it up here, but what it feels like here is, is, is been an evolution in the last three hours or whatever. And I, I want to feel that and know it and remember it. So I can know it when it's happening to me and I can claim it and I can say, I trust this. It's okay. Because most of the time I have it. So thank you. And it was a money thing that started this. It's like, I don't have to pay for anything. I already paid for it. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly I like life. Life. I've already paid it. <laughs> and I'm like wondering, okay, can I trust? And then, you know, running through the Duomo. <laughs> I love hearing her voice. I know. She's awesome. She's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, on the steps of that oh. church. My first oh, night sorry. in Lika. <laughs> there we go. So here's, here's a testimonial that one of um, Carmel's clients gives her. I had heard Carmel often speak of the importance of travel and adventure, especially for women. I realize now that it takes leaving your life behind and traveling to another country at times to find life. This retreat is one of the most precious gifts I have ever received, and I gave it to myself. I was awestruck by the clarity I experienced while participating in this unbelievable adventure. Mm, cars, amazing. 
and then there's Marsha. And it was interesting because Marsha met me at an event where I was um, a professional event where I had a booth and I was just launching my retreats. And she was a tough nut. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like she <laughs> fierce and like she had her deal going on and nobody was going to mess with it and get in the way. And as we had conversation, I watched this veneer just start to crack on one side and then just slowly start to open up and create a space. And that space grew and that space grew. And she took the leap for India. She says, I thought I knew myself pretty well before taking a leap of faith and traveling halfway around the world. I thought I was on this adventure to figure out what my next steps in life and business, to tell the truth, could be. What I came away with was the most unimaginable amount of self-love, peace, and awareness that cannot be put into words. The only way to begin to comprehend what an amazing gift I received from the experience is to take a leap of faith for yourself and give the gift that keeps giving for a lifetime. Mm, nice. I love how she expressed that so fully. So true. <laughs> so, you know, ladies, you're in the right place, you know, and um, we hope that you're feeling why you're here today. Uh, we have been visualizing you in Italy. We have been gathering in the mornings as we do in Italy, but we've been gathering in the mornings to present you there. We've been gathering to create the adventure. We've been gathering to fulfill the purpose because every day that we were there, as we said, we knew that we were being given more and more. And we, we began to ask ourselves the question, you know, um, where does your leadership get to take you? You know, asking your leadership to pave the way and um, asking for your heart to allow the receiving of the gifts that, that the whole world and the whole universe has prepared for you. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. So we just, you know, if any of this has really called to you, we ask you just to let it, that, you know, let that resonate inside of you because, um, we are not high pressure in ourselves. We are inviters. We are enrollers. We are engagers. And we're major collaborators. And we absolutely um, know that you know that you can, that, that you will know to be in the right place at the right time if that's what it feels for you. But I do have a caveat for you. And we've talked about this a little bit, haven't we, Carmel? Because life is messy. And it, you know, we're, we wait for this perfect moment of things to happen and life is happening as life is messy and opportunities are coming our way as life is messy. And as Mavericks, the one thing that I do know is that we never have, we never want to have regrets as we look back in time. And um, some of you may know that I had a very intense near death experience. Um, in my early 20s. And what I really deeply learned from that is we don't know moment to moment to moment how much time we have on the planet. And I learned not to take my, my friendships, my colleagues, my adventure, my family. I've learned not to take a single day for granted. And to be able to do this, to be able to offer this on this level, for me to be able to work with Carmel, who I consider... Um, one of the premier coaches on the planet for the transformation that she creates within her clients. Uh, to me, this is a dream come true. And I know, you know, the level of personal development that we've seen in these women, years of personal development taking place in one week. And that for us is the gift in itself and the miracle. And we, we absolutely would love and adore to have you with us here. So um, do you want to take this play, this part? I do. So there are two ways that you can be involved in your travel and transformation. You can do this on your own, which means researching the trip itinerary, handling the money, 
finding the best places, invest money and time to grow your business in all of that, publish your book, create your vision and relax and receive. So if you think about all the different things that go into something like this to be able to get there, you could do it this way. And it's not a bad thing, but there's a lot of trial and error. There's a lot to organize. There's second guessing the choices that you've made, the selections that you've, uh, you've opted in on. There's no insider access. And this was a big one for me because when I first started traveling, I would find out after the fact of things that I had missed. And now I'm on the other side of that curve. I get to lead people because I have spent so much time. I literally, when I go, because I've created location independence, I just set in for a while and I explore and I meet people. And so what I have gained from that is insider access on all of the things that, I, that we do. We have created insider access, but there's no re insider access unless you've gone and spent time. It's not simple and there's lots of time spent as I found when I first started. Or the second option is you can take the leap with Italy and join us for a true transformational experience. Because when you do it on your own, you will have transformation. That's what I have done. That's what Bridget has done. There is a, um, an exponential possibility mm -hmm. with doing this retreat. Not a retreat, not retreats like this, but this retreat. And I can honestly and truthfully say that right yeah. now. Especially because you're growing, going with a group of women who are like-hearted and like-minded, mavericks, go-getters, hustlers, and also learning how to receive their biggest visions and dreams just like you. You must learn to receive in order to stand in your power. The Renaissance Women, a trust retreat where women mavericks learn to receive. So the retreat details, the retreat is $39.97, as many of you know, and you can reserve your seat for this amazing adventure for only $500. Yeah. It's incredible. And, <laughs> <laughs> and those who want to, uh, to do it all up front, we fully welcome that. And those who want to make payments, we fully welcome that as well. Mm -hmm. But $500 holds your seat. And the equivalent retreat for what we do is at least double the cost. Mm -hmm. And this is actually true. This isn't inflated. What, <laughs> because of my insider access and the travel that I've done, I have learned how to actually make things happen and get the, all the things that we want <laughs> at a lower cost. And that cost gets passed along. This has been one of my joys, one of my delights, and that we have our amazing Stefania Senza Quattrini there mm -hmm. in Bagna Reggio. So and she you know what this means, ladies, because... Carmel and I, we are not shoppers. Like we want to go experience the places and the culture and the people and we, we don't care to shop that much. But I'll tell you what, most of the women, they're like, oh, Italian leather and all these things. So imagine instead of having to spend double the cost that you, you have just this small amount and all of this amazing experiential learning and experiences and extra money for the Italian leather and the other goodies that you want. <laughs> it's so true. And I will tell you also, we had right from the beginning, uh, three of the women right from the beginning all commented independently as we got into the retreat and they were experiencing everything from our chef and the food to our expeditions and excursions and our, our on and off train and our, um, you know, just, Every little detail that was accounted for and so exquisitely perfect, um, I kept get, we kept getting this feedback. Oh my gosh, I cannot, I cannot believe you're charging this much for this retreat. I cannot believe it. And yeah, the tiny amount for all of this, they yes. were blown away. 
Yes, and they had, two of them had actually traveled previously and even had traveled through Italy. And when they saw what we had put together, they could not believe the cost of the retreat for everything that they were able to experience and, and do in this space and time. So our purpose is for you to feel the most breathtaking joy as we lead you on adventures of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. This is our delight and our joy and our goal. And then to have you settle back into the quiet solitude, a light-filled farmhouse somewhere in the Italian countryside. Beautiful. And that's Lauren right there. Yeah. <laughs> so the retreat details you can find, but we're going to go over more right now. The payment plan options. Plan, uh, plan A is three payments of eleven seventy five, dollars and Plan B is four payments of eight seventy five, dollars which is really, really affordable. Mm -hmm. And we want to tell you that what this includes, this includes everything except for your airfare, your initial getting to, uh, to us in Orvieto, which we help you get that all figured out. So it includes everything except your airfare, your initial getting to us on the train, and um, it does include your train fare when you leave and head back to Rome to catch your flight. Um, and it doesn't include any of your own little personal things that you want to buy, your own uh, it Italian treasures that you want to have. So mm -hmm. I want you oh, to and and one dinner on your own, which is quite a treat itself. Mm -hmm. One dinner on your own. So we do that because this is your own adventure to treat yourself. It's a special part of our retreat. So we just ask you to bring um, 20 euro or 30 euro for yourself for this dinner. That's just your own exquisite experience that you get to have. So um, all by yourself, all on your own. And we talk about that when we get into the retreat. So if you decide that this is what you want to do and it feels like, oh my gosh, like you've got that like movement in your stomach and you're just like, <laughs> oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. If you decide to take the leap in the next 48 hours, we have some unbelievable bonuses for you. So let's share the bonuses, Bridget. Okay. So um, you get my best selling book, The Witness for Red. And Julia, I know that you already have this, so I would actually have a different bonus book for you, which is called Leading Women. And it's where um, women share their extraordinary secrets to business and life. And my story is in there, as well as several other leaders from around the country. Um, there is also a one-on-one -on -one mini session with me where we outline your signature story for page and stage. And so this is where... Uh, you get really clear because um, some of you are writing books, some of you are uh, out there doing business, that kind of thing. And what we do is we distill it down to the most important essence of your signature story. So you drip from the page, but also when you're on the stage that people really get you and that they want to follow you and they're motivated to be connected to you. And Bridget is actually brilliant at this. She has built this herself and she has worked with so many others to successfully build the same. So this is her, this is her zone of genius. So mm -hmm. it, this is something that no matter where you are with your work and your business, that will be perfect and transformational for what you're wanting to do. So for me, the bonuses are you get a 30 minute clarity strategy session with me one on one. Um, and I will tell you, um, so Faith, the Soul Discovery Sisterhood group that you are a part of, right? Also, is that right? Um, the, I've done the laser coaching sessions with some of the women in that group, and it has just been the massive breakthrough for them right off the bat. And I've been doing these for a while. When I sit down and do my laser coaching sessions, they, uh, I don't know where I'm going to go. And somebody else, the person sitting across from me doesn't know either, but something in them already does, and I, don't, I do know that. And that is where we go. And bam, we just like knock it out of the park. As I watch this happen, it's like sparks flying and you never know how it's going to end up. But when we get there, it's so brilliant. It's so perfect. So I have that 30 minute clarity strategy session with me where we really do the breakthroughs. And then also I have my signature self-directed program, Let That Shit Go. 
It's 30 <laughs> days for women leaders to forgive and move up in business and in life. It includes the workbook and the daily actions with that workbook, the nine video lessons, and the five downloadable forgiveness meditations that I have created and recorded. The thing about this is, I think this is a pretty cool little program, right? But then I went back into the program last year because I needed to go into the details again. And as I was going through my own program, I was like, oh my God, I need this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you, <laughs> I think that's a pretty good sign. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> We have some other amazing bonuses for you. This is the 48 hour bonuses, right? So if you pay in full within the next 48 hours, you get to have an hour sit down session, coaching session, one-on-one -on -one at the retreat with myself, which is really powerful. And mm -hmm. Bridget and I will be doing a Facebook live interview with you about your business during the retreat as well. This is the bonus number two. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine everything that's possible by having that exposure. We make sure that you're prepared, that you're ready, and we get to come together and make it a huge, powerful punch for you in your business right then and there. Part of the reason that we do this at the retreat is because when you are in the space of having launched yourself into travel it opens up your own bigger self your deeper confidence a, a side of you that you really have never been able to grasp in another way and when that opens up we want that on film we want that on camera mm -hmm. we want you to be exhibiting that out all that magic all of that power and we want to help make that happen and then we want to add everything that we have our cachet and what we have built we, we want to add that to you so this is what we, this is one of the bonuses that we also offer. Mm -hmm. And I tell people, you know, you, you can't write juicy unless you're living juicy, right? And this is part of that living juicy that you're going to show the world. They'll, you'll have the beautiful Italian countryside behind you and you're going to be like, I'm in Italy and I'm doing these amazing things. And then we interview you. And as she said, all of that magic comes out. We yeah. love to promote our ladies love love to promote you what you're doing your impact on the planet and especially in this place look how italian that is it's so italian is petiliano yeah petiliano. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so one of my retreat growers kim says there were really solid reasons why it was ludicrous for me to travel halfway around the world to this retreat. I'm so grateful that I found the courage to be true to myself and the intuitive and conclusive guidance of my heart that instantly knew that was exactly where I needed to be, despite what could be perceived as less than ideal timing. That wisest part of me knew that taking this leap would move me like nothing else could in the direction of discovering and creating the life that my soul most deeply desires. There is freedom that is found in stepping outside of one's known life. Mm. So our total value of the retreat, we want to break it down so that you can see that. All the bonuses total in at 1150. The boutique adventure retreat is actually valued at 8997. So if you were going to craft this or put this together on your own, this is about what it would be right there. And then the collaboration with Bridget and I and the network of other women that you get to connect with and build those relationships with and all that's possible there. We've watched as our women have actually stayed in close contact and have supported each other's successes at the next level and actually been, there's been business that's happened between them. There's been um, mm -hmm. just other possibilities that have opened up and, you know, besides the support and they have actually gone out of their ways to make sure that they meet up and other parts of the US now that they have been back back here we love seeing that so the actual cost for you is the cost of the flights or the cost of the retreat the cost of the flights and your own personal extras and then as we said that train fare um, to get to us which is going to be probably somewhere between the train and the taxi is going to be somewhere around I think 50 50 mm -hmm. to 70 something like that dollars US and then the um, uh, the dinner 
their own little mm -hmm. connection. So table those are for one. one. Table for one, we call it. Table mm -hmm. for one is what we call it. So those are the actual costs. So we're going to share taking the leap. And this is one of those things that I'm going to tell you. So Bridget, if you want to, um, oh, you did. So let me just pull this up and hit this. Um, when you are in a situation and you think out ahead and you create what you want in the future, this, I'm going to tell you about that magic. Eat a gelato on the steps of that church. My Are first you sharing your screen? And oh. then I walked down the VF. I thought I was. Let me try again. <laughs> Everybody's like, wait. <laughs> as much as we love your voice, we want to see what you're doing. <laughs> All right, here we go. And let me just. There we go. Eat a gelato on the steps of that church. My first night in Luca. And then I walked down the Via Falungo five years ago. Oh. Eat a gelato on the steps of that church, my first night in Luca. And then I walked down the Via Falungo five years ago and was all alone with Mark Chagall in a 900 year old Roman church. I'm gonna just let it catch up for one second. Let's try that. Incredible. Yeah. And I heard about it from the couple I sat next to at the little cafe outside my pensione that I had just met. When you step off the edge and you have no idea, there are the most amazing miracles moments, experiences, synchronicities, opportunities, waiting. But you have to step off the edge. You have to step. You have to trust. You have to let go. You have to take the step. Come join us next time. We want you here. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. That was such a joyful moment to be, to be bicycling and to just absolutely enjoy that time together was exquisite. I just, that's one of my favorite memories. Bicycling in, in Italy. Mm -hmm. So we want to know if you have any questions. Are there any questions that you specifically have thought about that we haven't answered for you up to this point? Anything that has popped up for you that you thought, well, if this, maybe this would work for me and I would love to do this, or um, what, what do you do when, or what about packing, what about flights? We want to talk just a little bit about that right now. So one of the things that um, I love to do is help people get really super great flights. Mm -hmm. I, I happen to be pretty good at it. Um, so for our women who decide to go, we actually assist them to find the really great flights, the best flights that we can find. And there's some kind of some in insider hacks because I travel all over the place. And, um, and so we have some we have some access to those hacks. We use them to help our women get the flights. I think that most of our women last year, the flights, and I'll have to check what they are currently, but most of our women were able to get their flights round trip from the US for anywhere uh, from $1,000 round trip down to about seven, 700 round trip, mm -hmm. which is incredible. Mm -hmm. So when you look at that, it's we're not talking a $2,000 flight. We're talking something that's really much more doable. And, um, and then we also uh, share our packing list. Um, I have both the VIP adventure packing list and the, the packing list for the retreat. The VIP adventure packing list. This is for those women who are ready to have a small group experience on and off train with tiny backpacks. <laughs> and we take you, um, <laughs> Maybe you want to stop share for a moment, Bridget, and I'll. <laughs> um, so we take you. Uh, 
with us as we go on and off train. And uh, we have this extraordinary adventure. Now we don't tell you what we are going to do. We instead have you meet up with us and we do a quick change to get on the train with you with your little lunches and we drop your luggage off to our retreat director right there on the train platform. It's a like two minute, like mission impossible, really amazing, fun thing that we do. We hop on and we take off together. And our women that come with us on the VIP adventure literally do not know what we are going to do. And we are taking off here and going and doing this here. And we have the most exquisite, extraordinary plan. Um, it just, I can't even tell you, it just got better and better and better and better every single moment of the day. And so we're not gonna tell you everything that we do, but you probably <laughs> see some of it in the pictures <laughs> already. And we have some new things planned this year as well. So we've got a lot set up for the VIP adventure, but the whole purpose of the VIP adventure is to create that experience that women want, which is the total freedom that they could actually just go, just go, and not have a lot of stuff that you carry, because trust me, <laughs> you don't need it for two to three days. Mm -hmm. And be able to just experience yourself in this completely free place. So as you do that, as you're able to step off and have that experience, it opens you up in a way like nothing else. Not even the retreat can open you up this way. So we have the VIP adventure and that is also on the website. The VIP adventure is separate from the retreat for those who want to take it. And we have a very special small group and the interactions that we do there are in real time. And Julia, that's more of what, more like what you've experienced just this last week you and I right <laughs> yes more of that while we're actually traveling <laughs> <laughs> which is really really fantastic things that people had wanted to do their whole lives we mm -hmm. ended up doing and they didn't even know we were going to do it on this adventure so we have the VIP VIP adventure coming up and that is the first uh, from the 15th through the 18th and you meet with us, you catch up with us on the train, we hop on with you and we take off. And then when we get back the night of the 18th, you get to just fall into bed and sleep and wake up whenever you want in the morning to the Italian sunlight and the birds while Bridget and I get ready to meet all of our other ladies that are coming for the retreat. If you're joining us on the VIP. And then we start our retreat that afternoon. So you get all of this time just to yourself, just to be, just to at the pool and the farmhouse and exploring and seeing the horses and the oh it's amazing that farmhouse is is just magical magical yeah yes so any questions anything that we can answer for you specifically about uh the retreat or the vip or um julia i saw your gears are working do you have any questions Oh, do you want me to unmute you, darling? Um, I think this is a fabulous opportunity for, uh, and I just want to say, because I'm being recorded, <laughs> I just, <laughs> just want to plug these two women. Um, I take personal coaching from both of these women. Bridget, I've been with her for a year and a half with my book. It has been the most amazing transformational experience. Mm -hmm. um, and she is definitely the writer whisperer. And she has been able to whisper me into my book. And I tell you, it's been really a choice experience because she has really been able to help me in ways that I never thought possible. Um, and then... I can tell you I've had the last little bit of time, um, the last few weeks with Carmel as a coach. And I think that I have personally transformed in a way that I feel like it's an integration time. Like everything that I have pulled from my life of 40 years of being a healer is coming into this um, fountain mm -hmm. of 
being able to be just unreal how the insides of me, man, if the outside can manifest what the insides of me feel, uh, my business will take off exponentially. And I trust that and I believe that. And seriously, to be able to get these two together, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm seriously thinking, what can I sell? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> it's not your body, Julia. That's all we have. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. No, and it might be worth it, but no. <laughs> no. Uh, but seriously, I'm, I'm seriously thinking, wow, this is a grand opportunity. And I hope that everybody that's listening will take advantage of it because it really is a great opportunity and a great price. I'm surprised at the price. I didn't know what the price was. And so just going through it and all the free gifts and everything, I can tell you, man, this is, if you subtract the free gifts off of 4,000 bots, you're, you're getting a hell of a deal. <laughs> and, um, and then to, to boot, to get a good, airfare yeah i'm rethinking this i'm like thinking i'd love to be there but we'll we'll see i'm open to a miracle <laughs> spend That's a ton so of money wild. this year crazy money this year so <laughs> well you're in a brand new house and you have so much happening in your business but i'll tell you what we would work with you to create that so just keep that in mind open yourself to the possibilities because Julia, we both just adore you and love working with you. And Thank you. I, it would be a dream to have you in Italy. That it, would be, sure. it would be a blast. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, seriously, it would be a blast. There's no question about the blast that it would be. <laughs> um, not just for me, but for everyone. And um, Isabel said she wanted to come and I thought, oh, Isabel's coming too. Oh, <laughs> no, it's going to be fabulous. Oh yeah. The synergy is <laughs> just going to be off the charts. Yes. And the thing that's so powerful, I, Julia, thank you for saying that. Um, I think that what I feel in everything you're saying that, that is so powerful to me is that the, the women, all of you who decide to choose in on this, there's no accident. There is no mistake. It's not about, no, oh, this person's just like me or this, you know, I fit because I'm like this person or it's not like that at all. It's literally the call inside you. If you feel that, that creates the most amazing synergy together. We watched as women with different backgrounds and different experiences, but so many similarities at the same time, all came together and found this uh, deep acceptance of exactly who they were. And it wasn't without this because uh, we recognize that when, when women come together, when we come together and are really truthful and honest with who we are, there are moments where we do this. And we're not afraid of that. Bridget and I are not afraid of that. We are very experienced in this and recognize that this is inevitable for strong, powerful women. And we get to be able to have this happen in certain moments when we are doing our deep work and feel that we are met 100%, that somebody is not afraid of how big and how powerful we are. And we don't have to make it uh, quiet and we don't have to pull back or make ourselves less to try and make it all smooth. That's not what this is about. We can handle and we want, if it is the call for you, we want you to come and be a part of this. This, th that kind of truth and power of exactly who we are is the space of transformation, not in name only, not because, oh, you're gonna have this experience and this experience, you're gonna have those, but because we're not afraid of exactly who you are. And not only that, we welcome, we want exactly who you are, all of it, every bit of it. The parts that you keep back because um, people don't know how to handle it or the parts that always lead out because they're the easiest for people to handle. Uh, we want all of it. <laughs> 
because wherever you're going to go next, this is the vision that we carry inside when we meet you and we start on this journey with you. Mm -hmm. That is what is needed. All of you is needed to wherever you're going to go next. And we make sure that that is all put together in the most powerful way when we get to spend time with you. Yeah. And you know, Carmel and I have been working in leadership for quite some time and we're doing some pretty amazing global things. Yeah. And what I will tell you is that maverick women like you are desperately needed. The problem is, is that oftentimes we've been told we're too much, we're too big, we're too loud, we're too maverick, we're too type A, we're too whatever. And so the really beautiful part about this is being able to come to grips with all of your too much and say, <laughs> no, I am just right. And being able to be that in the midst of other women. And it, it is beautiful. This transformation is just, you know, we get to watch you unfold like a lotus flower in mm -hmm. front of us. And then we get to, you know, be in that pond with you. It is, it is amazing. It really is. I'm also going to speak to something else that you said, Julia, and that is, um, so Bridget and I, I mean, we have our businesses, right? And we work with clients all over and, um, just, you know, really quite frankly, our hourly rate is high and good and worth every single second of it. When you come on the retreat, it's more than just the bonuses. The conversations that we have, the deep dives, the one-on-ones, the, all of that that you get with both of us individually and together, and especially even if you come on the VIP, what happens in that space, we're talking... <laughs> It's a lot. It, the, yes. the worth, the value of it is so much because as Julia knows from our having spent some time together now, like that's just never off. It's all like the deeper work of transformation and the power and the freedom and the, all of it, whatever it is, like it's always happening. It's just our joy. Can I say something else? <laughs> yes. yes, because, because Carmel and I have spent several days together in the just happy. She's in the basement. I'm upstairs in the study, right? <laughs> and we have been able to have these moments, and I'm not kidding you, of incredible connection. And I can say, this is what I can say about Carmel, is that she lets go of all judgment and goes straight into the core of you and in those moments, her resonance repatterning in your system is indescribable and unreal as you unravel the blocks. And that is a personal experience that I have not experienced with any other coach. And I can tell you that the transformation that happens is is beyond what I ever expected. And so to have both of these women, Carmel and her gifts and Bridget and her gifts, together on this retreat will be a fabulous, a phenomenal, uh, I don't even have the juicy words, Bridget. <laughs> They're beyond me. And um, I, just, I just wanna say that. Thank you. And, um, they're worth every penny of everything they ever do. <laughs> Honestly. Thank you. That's yeah. very yeah. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you. It's true. Beautiful. So Wendy and Faith, just checking, do you have any questions? You can pop them in the chat if you want. Whatever feels most comfortable. Do you have any questions that we can answer for you? Faith, you look like you were about to say something, were you? Can she unmute? I'll unmute you, Faith. There, I'm, the, I'm unmuted. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. This has just been lovely. I just have to say that Carmel knows I shared in a Facebook post that when I was 13 and four, I'm sorry, the dog's laying here chewing on her Kong. <laughs> um, she's like a three-year-old toddler, only she has four legs. So <laughs> um, when I was 13 and 14, I had the opportunity to live overseas in Istanbul, Turkey. 
oh, for wow. two years, we did quite a bit of travel. We basically never came back to Seattle. When dad received his per diem funds, we would just go on a trip. And I had no idea at the age of 13 what a unique opportunity that was. But I, I was wise enough to see that it formulated me, it helped me form myself spiritually to, to be exposed to all the different religions and practices and feel so much good in the world. And I was a changed person when I came back at 14. And of course, I wasn't able to really express that. So hearing what you're saying, Carmel, about it being transformational just totally makes sense to me. And I always wanted to go back. You know, I was with my parents, right? So that was, you know, I was just this following my parents around. And I always wanted to go back as an, as an adult. And when you were talking about it in your group, it was like, Holy crap, I'm 61. When am I when do I think I'm gonna do this? <laughs> if I'm gonna do it as an adult. Well, I can still walk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. So I have no idea how this could come together. It's a total leap of faith. I just uh, a month ago wound up on unemployment. I'm launching my book. I'm starting this new chapter in my life. Lainey, lay down, lay down. Um, so I'm, I'm in, excited, but it's one of those total, okay, well, show me how, you know, is, it's kind of where I am while I'm sitting here because just getting to know you through your Facebook lives and your, and your, I don't know, these Zoom calls are amazing, right? You can really connect with people and uh, get a feeling for them. So and I've watched a couple, you've been on Soul Sisterhood a couple times, Carmel, so um, I've really gotten a, more of a feel for you, and I truly appreciate you, Bridget. You. So I honestly have no idea where this is going to go, but I know I'm meant to travel. Mm -hmm. And what drove me crazy about some of our travel was the tour buses and the regimented eat in this restaurant, you know, so that was not my vision. So what you're presenting is my vision off the beaten path, but safe and enjoyable and, you know, be in the culture. Yes. Oh, honey, it's even better than what you just said. Like, <laughs> Because that's, um, I could never do, like, I'm not a cruise person. I want to choose, I want to, like, I want to choose my own adventure, right? Like, those yeah. books, I love those books. Like, I get to make the choices of where I'm yeah. going to go and what I'm going to do. So you are speaking my language. Like, that's yeah. what we put together was that it got to be that. That mm -hmm. we're, we're, not, we're not interested in doing this big mass-produced whatever. It's so specialized so personalized so boutique yeah. so yeah adventure focused so yeah yeah okay well then you you start like writing it down and right. yeah yeah make it happen right Manifest that puppy. <laughs> there is a lot of magic in clear intention and even more magic i have discovered when i commit yeah, like it's like I'm gonna create this big vision. I'm gonna create the joy in being there. I'm gonna see myself there, and then I'm gonna commit. Yeah, so when you're ready, Faith, we would love that. Oh, well, be able to you. have that adventure with you that you haven't been able to do since you were younger, oh. and to have the autonomy. Oh, yeah, what an exquisite joy. Yeah, and also I know if it's something that you make happen. Um, your book and everything that you're working on right now with that, um, we've got a lot to bring on that, like a lot of real, <laughs> right into exactly what you want to need. Like it's, it, it, it's uncanny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you make that happen, if you decide this is part of the deal and you make that happen, what we both have to provide is so uniquely tapped right into mm -hmm. that. that. Yeah and the success that you want to create with that and moving you forward with that. So plus that Facebook live, like that's just, you know, there are just a lot of really great yeah. Thank you. So I did, I had a question about, I had hip replacement surgery a year ago. Mm -hmm. I'm still working on, you know, how long I can walk. And I mean, it's just amazing. The pain is gone and all of that. Um, Yay. But it's, you know, 
continue with PT and all that stuff. So I wasn't sure how much walking there is. I just better start walking every day before we do this, right? <laughs> that would be a really good idea. Um, we did have people that weren't used to doing a lot of physical activities. Mm -hmm. And um, the only thing was in the VIP at one, at one point we had the hike. Yeah. And one of them, you know, she just stayed, you know, she took the little train over instead of the hike up and over and, you know, drank her wine and just enjoyed the people. And yeah. for her, it was the perfect experience. Okay. But if you started walking every day, you would easily be able to do that luxurious hike as well. Mm -hmm. So then we would leave it in your hands as to what you would want to do, you know, completely at your choice. Okay. And there, there is walking because it's Europe. It's yeah. Europe. Europe requires walking. Yeah. But, well, I appreciated um, the picture of you, Carmel, with your tennis shoes on. So I thought, oh, good. Don't have to go with fashion big girl shoes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because I will say right now, this is not a fashion play <laughs> um, a, a retreat. This is a, an adventure. This is a true real life adventure. And my shoes are comfortable. I have lots of different, very comfortable shoes. Yeah. Um, so, and we even have a conversation. So for those of you who opt in and choose in and register, um, once you have registered, then we start the process we have. We get together and have the private Facebook Live meetings together. And we walk into all those details and we find out what shoes you have, make sure that you have the right ones. You don't buy them right before you have them and you are wearing them in plenty yeah. of time before we get to Italy. Because it is walking. There is yeah. walking. But it's... Um, and if you do the VIP adventure, then you're going to want to really, really be up on that because there's much more on the VIP adventure because we're okay. moving fast and we're going. I think I missed that part when I had to take the dog out. So it's three days. Three nights. It's four three days. nights. Okay. Four days, three nights. Four days, three nights. Okay. So and that additional prices. Right. So the VIP adventure is 1800 okay. And um, that... Um, <laughs> is really an unbelievable deal as well because um, with the VIP adventure that includes all of your meals on the go so we don't have a pre-plan this is and we basically decide the restaurants we're going to go to and you order whatever you want mm -hmm. and we um we come together in a small group and that's all of the train on and off the train all of the taxis um, all of the entrance fees for all of the adventures that we have planned because those are actually quite significant and there are a lot of them and mm -hmm. um, it's all of your accommodations where we're going to be staying at night um, and uh, so yeah. <laughs> and you take care of everything and you just go that's just part go. of that trust that they were talking about you know yeah. and and just the beauty of that yes yeah. I, I will have to tell you, the VIP adventure, um, I've had other women professionals when I've had conversations and I tell them about the VIP adventures, um, both this one and others that I have done. They've not ever seen anything like this. There's women who get together to go, like, they're like really into sports and all of that. And they get together to go do things like that. So they plan everything out and they have all the equipment and they bring their equipment and they go do that. But this is not like that. This isn't an equipment needed. This is actually a, a, an adventure of freedom and the transformation that you do on the inside while we go and do this together so it is that experience in a much more mm, elegant way of what you would have done at 18 or 19 years old after you have graduated high school and you headed out and you're like in the college space or whatever this is our version of it and it's much more interesting and elegant and also just as exciting um, <laughs> Which, there's just your spring break. I would love to tell you about <laughs> changing into swimsuits in a back alley. <laughs> you did tell that story in Facebook. I did. <laughs> Not the too bad. Yeah. <laughs> right by the Palizia. <laughs> exactly. Well, we actually we revisited that last year with our VIP women. Um, mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, I have pictures. I was going to put those pictures in on this and um, <laughs> they just didn't fit. But we had pictures of all the women lined up in this little back alleyway, just stripping down. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> getting into our getting into our swimsuits before we went and hopped into the Mediterranean. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely perfect. Um, so that's the VIP adventure. And uh, it's really, it's like a combination of moving fast and moving so at, at this just slow free level. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like you, <clears throat> you just, yeah, you get to just relax and do that. So like a choreographed dance. Yeah, like a choreographed dance. Yeah, where we're both like, bam, we're going. And there's just like, oh, we're sitting and having uh, a cup of tea or a little cafe, you know. Um, yeah, it's just, I, I don't know. It, it's so extraordinary. The, the meals sitting around talking and talking and laughing and enjoying. And then off we go on the next thing. And then, you know, so it's like that, this back and forth movement and deep just enjoyment, relaxation, back and forth. So I'm just going to share this one picture if you can see. Are, are you able to see it? Oh, it... yes. <laughs> <laughs> we no. enjoyed. We definitely yeah. enjoyed. <laughs> it was so incredible. So incredible. So we will wish you andiamo. And um, do you have any other questions that we can answer? Have we dived in with you and whetted your appetite, your imagination, and your your deepest manifestation <laughs> to figure out being there in Italy? It is that delicious. Yeah. Okay, we want to thank you. We really thank you with our whole hearts for joining us tonight. We really would love to have you come with us. To Italy mm -hmm. and meet up with us there because I guarantee it will. And not Wendy is still on the line, so Wendy, I just wanted to double check. Did you have any questions? You're muted, just in case you. Okay, so she might might be busy with a with a child or something, but we just want to make sure because we're very open to questions, so we just wanted to be sure. Thanks, Bridget. Um, all right, so um, yeah, if you join us, if you come with us, <laughs> it will not be like anything you've ever experienced before or since. And um, as I had a very dear client and friend tell me years ago before I jumped off the edge for the first time, she said, Carmel, you'll never miss the money, but you would absolutely miss the adventure and the experience that's standing right in front of you. And I she was right she was right <laughs> yeah that was it so i hope that you will join us Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> thank you all <laughs> thank you uh, and as i say buona notte buona notte buona notte buona notte <laughs> golden dreams tonight mm -hmm. and we will see and talk with you very soon all right thank you beautiful good night everyone good night. so much